Welcome, my name is Trisha Morris and I would like to welcome you to my channel, Mathematics Simplex, where you will be able to view videos you might find difficult in your mathematics class. Please, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel. Are we talking about solving using the laws of indices? So if I have, for example, 2 to the x equal 4, then to solve something like this, I'll have 2 to the x, then change the 4 to base 2, so I'll have 2 to the 2. Once we have the bases to be the same, we drop the base and equate the powers to be equal, so x is equal to 2. Also, we can have 2 to the 3x minus 5 equal 8. So I have 2 to the 3x minus 5 and changing 8 to base 2, so I'll have 2 to the 3. Once you have the base being the same, we drop the base and equate the powers to be equal. Now, solving for x, so we carry the 5 over the equal sign. So we have 3x equal 3 plus 5. So 3x is equal to 8. Then divide both sides by 3. So x is equal to 8 over 3. We could also have 2 to the 5x minus 1 is equal to 1 over 16. First, we're going to change the 16 to 2 to the 4th. Then we rewrite it using the rule a to the minus n is 1 over a to the n. So if I have 1 over a to the n, it's the same as a to the minus n. So 1 over 2 to the 4th is 2 to the negative 4. Then we have 2 to the 5x minus 1. We drop the base and equate the powers, so we have 5x minus 1 equal negative 4. Now we're going to solve. So we have 5x minus 1 equal negative 4. Carry the negative 1 over the equal sign. So we have 5x equal negative 4 plus 1. So 5x is equal to negative 3. Then we divide both sides by 5. So x is equal to negative 3 over 5. And that's it. We can also have 3 times 3 to the 4x minus 5 equal 9 to the 3. What we can do is rewrite this as 3 to the 1, and laws of indices says the bases are the same, so we can go ahead and add. So we have 3 to the 4x, 1 minus 5, that is negative 4. 9 is the same thing as 3 squared. And we know from indices when we have two powers, we can multiply. So 3 to 6. Now we have one base on either side. So we can go ahead and drop the base and equate the powers to be equal. So we have 4x minus 4 is equal to 6. Now we're solving so we can have the negative 4 over the equal sign. So we have 4x equal to negative 
equal six plus four. So four X is equal to 10. Then divide both sides by four. This cancels. So X is equal to 10 over four, but we can reduce this because 10, 10 and four is divisible by two. So two into 10 goes five times and two into four goes two times. So this is the same as five over two. Or if you want to have it as a decimal, we can have it as 2.5 or a mixed fraction, which is two and a half. So don't forget to subscribe and like my video.